preview. Today, we will discuss about Lydia Hall's biography, theories who developed the third cure core model, or also known as 360. She was innovator, motivator, mentor to nurse in all phases of their careers, and an advocate for a chronically ill patient. She involved the community in public health issues. She was born on September 21, 1936 in New York. Her father was a general practice physician. She resumed her education and received master's degree in the teaching of natural life sciences from Columbia University in 1942. She pursued doctorate and completed all of the requirements except for the dissertation. She worked Life Extension Institute of Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. Focus was a preventative health. She also managed to be advocate of community involvement of public health issues. She was also a research analyst in the field of cardiovascular disease. Her interest of research in the field of rehabilitation of chronically ill patients and brought her to the developed now famous care cure cure theory. She was determined that nurses were in charge of everyday activities and transactions. In 1967, Lydia Hall received the Teachers College Nursing Education Alumni Association Achievement in Nursing Practice Award and was the Nursing Hall of Fame in the 1984, she was inducted into the American Nurse Association or ANA Hall of Fame. She died on February 27, 1969 at Queen's Hospital in New York. Lydia Hall's theory defined as a participation of care, core, and cure aspects. Whereas care is the circle addresses the role of the nurses and its focus on performing the task of nurturing patients. This means the motherly care provided by nurses, which may include comfort measures, patient instructions, and helping the patient meet his or her needs when help is needed. While the core is, it's when the patient is receiving the nursing care. The core's goals set by him or herself rather than by any other person and behave according to their feelings and values. And lastly, the cure. The cure is the attention given to the patient by medical professionals. Hall explained in the model that the nurse shares the cure circle with other health professionals, such as physician or physical therapist. The motivation and energy necessary for healing exists within the patient rather than in the healthcare team. Whole scare, cure, and core. Theory assumptions are as follows. Second, the three aspects of nursing should not be viewed as functioning independently but as interrelated. And lastly, the three aspects interact and the circles representing them change the size, depending on the patient's total course of progress. Lydia Hall's theory has three components which are represented by three independent but interconnected circles. The care circles define as professional nurses' primary role, such as providing bodily care for the patient and helping the patient complete such basic daily biological functions and eating, bathing, elimination, and dressing when providing this care, the nurse's goal is the comfort of the patient. The core circle, this area emphasizes the patient's social, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual needs concerning family, institution, community, and the world. 
through such expression, the patient can gain self-identity and further develop maturity. Hi, my name is Maritar Cesar and I'm going to read and explain the four types of metal paradigm in nursing based of media hall. So we have nursing, prison, health, and environment. In nursing, this is identified as consisting of participation in the care, core, and cure aspect of the patient care. Nursing should be a professional for their clients or patients. Hall stipulated that only a professional nurse who can take total responsibility for the care and teaching of their patients. Care is the sole function of the nurses, whereas core and cure and shared with other members of the healthcare team. So based of her, nursing will focus no, we will focus the aspect of care, core, and cure of the patient care. We should always be a professional of them since that is the job of being a nurse. Aside from caring, you will always put their situation into yourself while they become irritable. So being a nurse, we can have a big responsibility to take care of our patients and make them strong and positively to their lives. So the next is person. How do you read the patient or clients as composed of three aspects such as the body, pathology, and person? She emphasized the importance and uniqueness of the individual to be capable of growth and learning. The goal of the patient is to achieve their maximal potential through the learning process. On the other hand, the chief therapy they need is teaching. The nurses will provide the motherly, motherly care of the patient now which may include the limited supervision of comfort measure and teaching to the patient. Hall's theory emphasizes the total patient rather than looking at just one part and depend on all three components of the theory that are working together. Can we proceed? The health. So base of her, Paul inferred that the health is a state of self and awareness. This is a conscious selection of behaviors that are optimal for the individual. She stresses the need to help the person to explore the meaning of his or her behavior to overcome the problem through developing self identity and maturity. When we say ill, this is a behavior, you know? and illness is directed by feelings out of awareness, which are the root of a child adjustment difficulties. So, health is a state to the self-awareness, quality, and wellness of the patient. It is also includes the access you know, of the patient has to health care. This is the nursing component that how he or she will apply their knowledge and skills when caring, when caring for their patients. And lastly, the environment. According to Lydia Hall, the environment is built within relation to the individual. She said that, this is very important to create an environment that is conducive to self-development. The focus of the action of nurses is the individuals that will take in relation to the society for the purpose of assisting and attaining the personal goals of the patient. Alexa, please, look at 
aking to. Alexa, ano ba? Wala ka na ba ibang gagawin dyan sa... Ano pa nangyari sa pasyente? Ba't po siya nawala ng malay? Nimatay po siya. May nakita po akong lubid at sleeping pills sa kama niya po. Okay, to. Check ko lang po yung baby niya. Okay naman po yung vape niya. Kukunin ko na lang po yung dupo. Okay naman po lahat. Puntaan nyo lang po ako pag nagising na yung pag-empire at babalik lang po ako. At maya maya po darating na po yung doktor. Sito kang may isas ko po. Sige po ang nurse. Good afternoon. Nandiyan na po si Doc. Good afternoon po. Magandang hapon po. Kamusta yung pakiramdam, Iha? Ano po pangalan natin? Ilang taon? Alexa Dimapolis po, 22. Ano lang ako, ha? Tagilid lang po. Pagaling ka muna dyan, pahinga ka muna. Hintayin na lang po natin yung result natin para malaman ko anong dapat gawin. But I recommend Dr. Yus. Sabihan ko lang yung nurse natin na tawagan si Dr. Yus. Thank you. Sige. Salamat po, Doc. Good afternoon. Nandito na po si Doc Yus. Good afternoon. Kamusta ang iyong pakiramdam, Iha? Sige, may tatanong ako sa iyo. Kumakain ka ba ng tatlong beses sa isang araw? Nakakatulog ka ba ng maayos tuwing gabi? Madalas bang sumasakit yung ulo mo? Opo, Dok. Kaya gumagamit po ako ng sleeping pills para makatulog. Nagigi-emotional ako tuwing gabi. Lalo na akong maalala ko yung mga nangyari sa akin dati. Nawawalan po ako ng pag-asa sa lahat. Tinatamid ako. Wala rin na akong ganang kumain. Madalas po, irritable ako. Nahihirapan po akong mag-concentrate. Pati mag sa buhay ko po, nahihirapan din po ako. Sumasakit po yung ulo at yung parte ng katawan ko. Kaya nandiyan na wala pong malino ng dahilan. Pakiramdam ko, ayaw lahat sa akin ng tao. Kaya minsan naglalaslas ako. Ilang beses na ako mag-take ng suicide. Gusto ko nang tapusin yung buhay ko. Sige, magpapaskadyol na lang tayo. Good afternoon. Nandito na po ang result ng hemoglobin ng patient. Ito po ang reseta hemoglobin nurse. Naaari po ba namin malaman kung ano ang hemoglobin? Ang hemoglobin ito ay isang iron rich protein na matatagpuan sa red blood cells at responsible sa pagdadala ng oxygen sa buong katawan. Kinakailangan na may normal na antas ng hemoglobin sa iyong dugo upang mapanatili at maayos ang iyong katawan. Remind ko lang po, kailangan na psychotherapy, probably mga 4 months para gumaling. Regarding naman sa hemoglobin, kain po tayo ng meat and fish, green leafy vegetable. Probably next week ang schedule ng therapy. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. Thank you.
Magandang araw po sa inyo. Okay na lang. Good news po. Pwede na po kayong i-discharge. Okay na po yung hemoglobin nyo. At pwede na po tanggalin yung dextrose. Pero continue pa rin po yung therapy nyo po. Yun lang po. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Salamat po. Nursing Process K Scenario Miss Alexa is in a state of scenario, depression, and having thoughts of suicide to her past experience. Her parents abandoned her and now she lives in the boarding house alone, where the place is noisy and her surroundings are not clean. This depression has led the patient in a downward spiral seeking alcohol to doubt the feelings of pain and the emotions of worthlessness. Also, the patient has used pain pills for her to sleep at night. She stated, it helped me sleep. She reports that she has stopped attending classes and her grades are failing. The patient was fired from her job as a waitress two months ago because the client frequently missed work and her boss told her she was not friendly to the customers. The client also reports that she is feeling anxious. Assessment The client reports that she is feeling anxious. The patient has used pain pills for her to sleep at night. She stated it helps me to sleep. She reports that she has stopped attending classes and her grades are failing. The patient was fired from her job as a waitress two months ago because the client frequently missed work and her boss told her she was just not friendly to customers. The patient had depression and having thoughts of suicide due to her past experience. This depression has led the patient in a downward spiral seeking alcohol without the feelings of pain and the emotion of worthlessness. Planning Help patient to prevent harm and danger and promote safety environment. Help patient to boost back her self-confidence. The patient needs someone to talk that she's comfortable with, that the patient can clearly express, share her thoughts and problems. The patient should be aware of what she's doing and to know how to handle her problems and issues in life. Promote activities that will regain her in energy and decrease her negative thoughts, the patient will undergo psychotherapy for at least two months. Intervention Care The nurse will check the patient's vital signs. The nurse will guide the patients to undress and undress and select suitable clothes. The nurse will promote relief, sleep, and relaxation to the patient and give the patient peaceful and quiet environment. The nurse will help the patient to eat properly, give the patient healthy and nutritious food like fish, nuts, beans, poultry, probiotics, vegetables and foods, folate, fiber, and other nutrients makes vegetables, especially the darker leafy greens, and a wonderful choice when looking for foods to help improve and stabilize mood. The patient needs proper eating of this different variety of food in order to improve her health condition. First, the nurse should talk to the patient and give positive results about her condition. The nurse will help and teach the patient to drink her medicines properly and take it at the right time. The nurse will advise the guardian to talk to the patient about positive thoughts, telling the patient to improvement about her condition. Advise guardian to tell the patient to read books and watch videos that is good for her mental health. Or, the nurse will let the patient verbalize her feelings and emotions about the incident 
especially about the possible complications. The nurse will acknowledge to validate the pain and fatigue of the patient. The nurse will give tactic enforcement about the patient's condition so that the patient can boost back her self-confidence. Here, the nurse will advise the patient to have psychotherapy for at least four months so that the patient can go back to her normal state. Evaluation. The patient is fully recovered from her depression. The patient boosts back her self-confidence. The patient finish her therapy and back to her normal state. The patient can do whatever she wants. Acceptance by the nursing community. Using Hall's theory, the three C's, it helps nurse how to interact therapeutically towards patient with their positive or negative feelings or problem to be handled. Practice makes experience. It empowers the nurse to give meaning to each and every nursing action. Education. By educating patient and household members by demonstrating practices and experience, nurses give basic knowledge to people by knowing where to find answers to their questions and clinical problems. Research. Nurses can provide scientific evidences to give solutions to clinical problems.